In this video, you're going to learn the key insight to sell more high-level software at your digital agency business. This is Mike Cooch with Services That Scale. If you're not familiar with me, I help agencies design and sell scalable services. And in particular, I am a huge fan of the high-level software platform and one of their number one partners. And in this video, I wanna share with you the really important insight that will help you sell more high level and get more of that recurring revenue from your customers so that you're building a business that can actually scale with high margins, with recurring revenues, and create an asset that you can ultimately sell. In the description below this video, you're gonna find all kinds of free resources from me to help you grow your digital agency business, as well as information about the bonus that I have for anybody who signs up for high level through me or upgrades to pro through me, all the details in the description down below. Okay, what is this key insight that I'm referring to that's going to help you sell more high level? First, I'm going to refer to a video that I've recorded uh, a couple of years ago now about my philosophy of selling systems as a service instead of software as a service. I'm gonna go ahead and link to that here on this video so you can go check that one out as well if you're not familiar with it. But this idea of selling systems as a service is critical to what I'm going to share with you in this video. And what I mean by selling systems as a service here just briefly is that instead of selling software as a service, which you can do with high level and that's something that's generated a lot of excitement and buzz is that it has the SaaS capabilities that you can now white label and offer as your own. So SaaS being software as a service, instead of selling software as a service, which is completely commoditized, right? Because there are all these other agencies out there that also have the exact same high level platform and can white label it and sell it just like you can. So you never wanna sell something that's just completely commoditized like that. So you wanna sell a system instead. And what is a system? A system is all of the different components that the small business needs to actually execute their marketing brought together into one package. And that includes the software, right? It includes those tools, but it also includes campaigns that you've developed, maybe landing pages, website templates, things like that that you've developed, uh, and your services, and perhaps your expertise and guidance to help those businesses grow by taking full advantage of the marketing capabilities that you're giving them. Again, this is critical because one, you don't want to sell something commoditized, which is what those software tools are. And two, the far majority of small businesses are not equipped to take advantage of just tools. They're not equipped to take advantage of just software and be able to execute their marketing well. And the proof of that is just look around in the marketplace. The far majority of small businesses are not taking advantage of tools and technology to do their marketing effectively. The, the tools have existed for years now. Everything that High Level has built into it, with the exception of its most recent AI developments, because AI is brand new, but otherwise, you know, email autoresponders, SMS, funnel page builders, website builders, all those things have already existed. It's not the tools that's the problem. It's that the small businesses don't have the resources or expertise to be able to capitalize on those tools. So you don't wanna go out and sell just tools. You wanna to sell a system. All right, I think I've made that point clear. So let me share with you now the key insight that's going to help you sell more high level and get that recurring revenue for your business that you need to have a healthy, strong business. Okay, first, why am I using the word insight? Well, there's a book here, I'll, I'll put an image of it here, called Insight Selling. And maybe you've also heard of Challenger Selling. These are two very, very effective sales methodologies when selling to businesses. Okay, when you're selling to consumers, consumers tend to respond on, I would say, more primal instincts when they're buying most of their products, right? They wanna look good, so they buy certain fashions or drive certain cars, they want more status. So again, fashion cars, or they're hungry, so they buy foods. It, it's really pretty basic things. When it comes to selling to businesses, it's more sophisticated, it's more complicated. They're making decisions about the things that are going to help them grow their business and be successful at their business. We're selling something more sophisticated to allow them to accomplish their business goals to then achieve those things. So the key insight of this book, Insight Selling, and also the Challenger Sales Method, is that insights 
are actually the number one thing to help you sell more to businesses. And what I mean by insights is new ideas, new ideas that create some sort of shift in thinking for that business or for that business owner that makes them realize there is a different way that they should be doing things, a different way that they should be approaching things. When you are the business or the salesperson that delivers that key insight to them, you are now in a position of authority in their mind because you are the one who introduced them to that insight. And I'm sure if you think about the people that you follow for knowledge or information on how to grow your business or how to improve your life, that's exactly what you're getting from them, right? You're getting insights, you're getting new ideas that allow you to have breakthrough thinking to change your approach to how you're living or how you're running your business or how you're managing your finances. You're also getting motivation and inspiration from them in other ways and entertainment and things like that. But really it's those ideas that give you the breakthroughs that are really valuable to you. So let me give you an example that I think most people watching this video are probably aware of and can relate to. And that is Russell Brunson from ClickFunnels. Okay, Russell Brunson created this massive growth opportunity with ClickFunnels based on one key insight. What was that key insight? It was the funnel. This idea that the funnel was the key to growing your sales quickly at your business, to be able to do it without raising a bunch of venture capital, and that funnels were simple. You didn't have to have some big sophisticated website. You could literally launch your business by just putting up a, a simple funnel and growing your business around that. That insight has set off a massive community, a massive number of sales of his software, sales of his programs, and has allowed people to use that insight to build their business. So that is the example of an insight leading into these products and services that Russell sells. And prior to ClickFunnels, Russell's was very successful, but nowhere near the breakthrough that he's had since he figured out, hey, if I package up that insight, that key idea, and I own that idea, then I can own the software afterwards that allows people to then capitalize on that idea. Now, since then, of course, there's been all kinds of other products created that allow you to build funnels, and, and funnels existed before then, and existed before Russell Brunson, but he capitalized on that insight and used it to market the software that he was creating and create the whole movement around ClickFunnels. So that's an example of how insights can be so powerful and lead to such dramatic growth. So what you need to do to sell more of high level is to also use an insight to your advantage. And hopefully it's no surprise to you by now that the insight is the need for businesses to have systems. Okay, I've already told you that instead of selling software as a service, you should be selling systems as a service. So let me go ahead and put up another book cover here that I'm sure many of you, if not most of you, will recognize and, and hopefully you've read. And if you're like me, you've probably read it a dozen times. And that is the book, The E-Myth from Michael Gerber. And there's a, a whole empire now around this E-Myth concept. So there's a variety of books. This one that I'm showing you the cover of had literally over 12,000 reviews on Amazon. So this is a very, very popular book in the small business and entrepreneurship community. This book is going to help you with this key systems insight. Why do I say that? Well, there's a couple of major points that Michael Gerber made in this book that made it such a breakthrough that has resonated with so many small business owners and so many entrepreneurs out there. A couple of them. One is that you should work on your business instead of in your business. How many of us have heard that concept? You hear it over and over and over again. If you want to be able to grow a real business, you've got to learn to work on your business and not in your business. You've got to escape the just day-to-day -day hustle of doing things. So the second then key insight from that book is the one that's really, really important to us in selling more high level. And that is that in order to escape the day to day, in order to be able to work on your business instead of in your business, that you need to learn to see that your business and any business is really a collection of systems. It is a collection of systems that need to be put in place, optimized and measured 
and then improve so that your business can continue to grow, be more efficient and more profitable. So examples of systems in a business would be a lead capture system, a lead to sales conversion system, a customer onboarding system, uh, your accounting and invoicing systems, things like that. Those are all systems. And so what Michael Gerber taught and was such a breakthrough is that if you learn to apply this systems-based thinking to your business and to put systems in place, for the key aspects of your business, you are no longer just going to be that small business owner that's just caught in the scramble every day, that you can finally get above that and you can hire people to work on and optimize your systems, but it's actually the systems that are doing the work of running your business, not the people, right? And that resonates with so many business owners for a number of reasons. One, most small business owners feel like they're just caught in the scramble every day, that they're not making enough money, that they have uh, a shortage of good qualified people that they can rely on, but that they are dependent on those people, which puts them in a, in a bad position every day. So this concept of your business being a collection of systems and that you hire people to work the systems, but that the systems actually work the business is this major, major breakthrough. Now, here's the deal. There are millions of small business owners who have read that book and are familiar with this concept. I mean, Michael Gerber first wrote that book, gosh, I don't know, it was maybe in the 70s or 80s or something like that. It's been around forever and he's launched an entire empire around it and huge speaking career. So there is a huge number of your prospects and customers that are aware of this thinking. They're aware of this idea. Many of them need to be reminded of it but the idea will already resonate with so many of them because they know that they should be running their business that way. And they know that they should be thinking about their business that way. But the far majority of them are not. And in particular, when it comes to sales and marketing, the far majority of them have not had the right systems in place to be able to do effective sales and marketing. And so what do they do? They go out and spend money on a campaign from an agency. Right, an agency launch, launches some creative campaign, spends a bunch of money, or they spend a bunch of money to put up a pretty website. And maybe there's these short-term bumps that come to their business. But the reality is they don't have the systems in place to capitalize on those short-term bumps, to make sure that they're capturing all the leads that they could, following up with all the leads that they could, staying in touch, nurturing them, inviting them back, reactivating them, asking for referrals, doing retargeting. These are all systems, marketing systems, that if you were ideally running a small business, and let's say you had the best pizza in town, and you're a, a, a pizza guy, you're a pizza you know, cook, that's your background, and you want, you're passionate about pizza, you wanna make the best pizza in the world, Ideally, you would have these systems in place so that it, as soon as anybody heard about your pizza for the first time or they saw a coupon to try your pizza for the first time and they got that coupon, there would be a follow-up process. There would be a process to make sure that they were upsold when they bought something. There would be a process to make sure that they're brought back into the store repeatedly and that they know that they can order online all of those systems would be in place so that that business owner could just focus on the pizza, right? But in most cases, that doesn't exist for the far majority of small businesses. So if you use that insight to say to people, what we do is we sell and put in place marketing systems and optimize those marketing systems on an ongoing basis for our customers, and here's why because your business is a collection of systems. And in order for you to get ahead, Mr. or Mrs. Small Business Owner, you need to have those systems working to your advantage so that you're not so reliant on people, you're not so reliant on you doing everything, and that the money that you're then spending on marketing is not just falling through the cracks. A perfect example of the failure of small businesses to have these systems in place and be able to follow through is Groupon. If you remember when Groupon launched, right? And it was this crazy success overnight. Why? Because it solved a major problem for small businesses immediately. It brought them tons of new customers. But what happened 
was that Groupon got severe backlash from the small business community. There was literally small businesses on the news saying that Groupon ruined their business because it brought them all of these cheap customers that were expecting discounts and then that was it. That's not Groupon's fault at all. Groupon brought them amazing volumes of customers that the small businesses signed up to do. They knew, hey, yeah, it makes sense. I'll give these customers a 50% discount to get them into my business the first time, of course, because it does make sense. But what happened after that was a complete failure on the small businesses part. They then didn't have the ability to follow up. They didn't have marketing systems in place to keep in touch, to resell, to upsell, to nurture over time and retarget and remind those customers to keep coming back in. It wasn't Groupon's fault at all. It was the small business's lack of systems. No matter what you're selling to these small businesses, it doesn't matter. You could sell them leads, you could sell them lead generation campaigns, you could sell them new websites, you could sell them a funnel, you could sell them reputation management. There's so many things with high level that you could sell, but the key breakthrough for you happens when you sell any of those things as part of a greater overall system and explain it as part of a system that ensures that all of these fundamental marketing activities that need to happen at their business actually happen consistently, repeatedly, with automation, so it's affordable, so that small business can finally get ahead. When you sell that one breakthrough, you will sell more high level because it makes so much sense to that small business owner and you are now just going to sell, again, whatever it is that they want to buy initially that you are capable of doing with high level, it can be so many things, but your sales conversation, you've probably heard the phrase, sell them what they want, give them what they need. You're gonna sell them what they want, but give them what they need, which is systems. Whatever it is that you're selling them is part of an overall system. When you learn to sell that way, you're going to be bringing all of your customers into high level so that they can see all of those ongoing benefits and expansive benefits of that software, which means recurring revenue for you, means lower churn, means long-term customers, and means an asset that you can finally build up and be able to sell if you want to, or and just enjoy the benefits of your recurring revenue. That's very high margin because it's based off of the high level platform, okay? I hope that this helped you. This is the key insight to selling more high level. Again, in the description of this video, there's all kinds of resources for you. And if you would like to learn how to build and sell a system for small businesses using high level, I have a complete turnkey program around this called the High Leverage Agency, where I give you just about everything that you could possibly need to start and grow your agency business selling high level this way. You'll get all the details and the URL I'll put down here and also in the description of this video down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found this helpful, please like it and please share it with somebody that you think would get some value from it. Also, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below in this video. I answer them all personally and I look forward to hearing from you. See you on a future video. Take care. Uh -huh.